Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel SSC Selector. In this video, we have a cyclic quadrata ABCD. The length of sides of AB, BD and AD are given. AB is 5, BD is 7, AD is 3. And we have to find out the value of angle C. Let's see how we can solve this question. Friends, for this question, we need to find out the value of angle A. And by angle A, we'll get the value of angle X. Because in a cyclic quadrator, the sum of opposite angles is 180 degree. So if we know the value of angle A, we can find the value of angle X. Now the question is how we can find out this value, this angle, how we can find out this angle. So friends, here I will explain you or I'll, I'll give you a formula which is known as cosine formula in a triangle. If three sides are known and if we have to find out the value of any of the angle, okay, this angle or this or this, any of the angle and apply the formula cos theta, cosine formula. Cos theta is equal to a square plus b square minus c square upon 2ab. Now, what are the value of a, b, and c? Friends, a, b are the sides which make the angle theta. So, a and b are 5 and 3, and side opposite to the angle is c. So, this side is c in this formula. For this formula, this value is c. This is a and this is b. So, let's put the value here. Value of A is 5 square and B is 3 and the value of C is 7. 2 into 5 into 3. 5 square is 25, 3 square is 9 minus 49 upon 2 into 5 into 3 is 5, 3 is a 15, 2 is a 30. Cos theta. So cos theta is equal to 25 plus 9, 34 minus 49 upon 30. Cos theta is equal to 9 minus 4, 5, 15 minus 15 by 30. That is minus 1 by 2. The value of cos theta is minus 1 by 2 and my uh, cos 60 is equals to half as the value is minus half that means that lies in the second quadrant of trigonometry here in this quadrant lies in second quadrant here all the trigonometrical ratios are positive and here sign is positive that means cos is negative in this quadrant and therefore it is cos 120 degree. Cos 120 degree is minus half. So the value of cos theta is minus half and that is equals to cos 120 degree. That means the value of theta is 120 degree. The value of this angle is 120 degree. And if the value of this angle is 120 degree, angle A plus angle C is 180 degree. Angle A is 120. We have to find out the value of angle C. Angle C is uh, 180 minus 120. That is 60. So the value of this angle is 60. I hope friends you like this video. Please like to our videos and subscribe to our channel. 